Hi, this is Ashish for TennisWatt.net and in this video we'll learn how to create multiple and parallel running PIP using Camtasia. Uh, generally this is possible with uh, other software like Sony Vegas and all those high costly softwares. But we'll, if you we are going to afford only Camtasia, we'll learn how to do it. Now first thing you should know is by default Camtasia doesn't support multiple PIP, at least not parallel PIP if not multiple. So what you need to do is we need to use a hack in which you'll produce video over video to create a PIP multiple PIP effect so what first thing you need is a background image this will act as a layer of over which the PIPs will run now make sure this image matches your background of the final video plus it should be of the same resolution as the final video because this is going to go and sit as PIP in the final video so and anyway it's going to reduce in size so if you use a low quality from now itself it will go even blurry so make sure a high quality image is used second you need some sample videos these videos should be of the desired length of whatever you are planning to plus they should have all the same uh, video length so when you actually put run them parallelly they look you know they're running together that's what is the plan now next thing is uh, we'll drop this image into the Camtasia first so we'll drop it here we'll add it to timeline and we'll have it as let's say 180720 and let's increase the length a bit now next step you should do is uh, add the sample videos so we'll take the first video here we'll put it into the Camtasia timeline and now we'll not add it to timeline instead uh, let's drop it off from here and open the picture in picture now let's go and grab this video and add it as PIP and we'll see okay so this is how my video is now so I will align it with the image and make sure the length of the image and the timelines of the video in the PIP are same. So there it is. Now we'll do a toggle PIP preview placement. So we'll get to know the length of the video. There you go. Now we'll do edit PIP. Now we'll change it to let's say 420. Change it to anything you can obviously do a resize not a problem and align it in a place you want so you know the next video comes over here so we'll just increase the size a bit that's it I'll go and produce this video and we'll say PIP demo and produce SD in Sorry, in here and we'll say PIP1. Um, I need to organize, let's finish off. So now this will produce our first video which has already a PIP running inside it. Now we'll use this video as source in the next and again produce another video, uh, another PIP on it. So let's see. Quality matters a lot here because as the preview goes smaller, it will look distorted. Now done this, we'll create a new project. We'll say no here, and we'll go back to our PIP demo. Yes, we have PIP one already. You must be getting an idea what I'm doing now here. Now we'll add it to the timeline. So we'll keep the resolution as recorded. And uh, let's see. Now we'll use picture in picture again. And use the second video in PIP and we'll drop it here. We'll say OK. Align with now the videos are of same length, if not adjust it. And we'll say toggle PIP placement and edit PIP. And let's say for 20, for example. 
And now we'll have this video running right next to it. You can even go down if you want, or you can go here, wherever you like. So that is what I was saying is make sure the videos are you know properly placed. So now we're done. So there's another. Now we'll produce this again and we'll say HD next is we'll choose the PIP demo and we'll name it now as PIP2. So this is our final PIP. Now once this is done what will you will take the last video and we'll put the final PIP inside the last video so it matches automatically. Now let's produce it. Should be very careful about the alignment which we make for the video because once done you cannot uh, change it again you will have to reproduce everything so we'll just um, say new project again say no over here we'll come here now this is our PIP now you can see how beautifully they are running parallelly both the videos awesome right now okay now so we have all the required stuff we have now we'll, we'll open Camtasia first we'll do is import all the things what we required the video and the PIP which we produced so we'll drop in here first add this to timeline and whatever video you want make sure the resolution of both the videos is same or it will automatically do that and then add this to timeline also so now what will happen is you know, generally what I do is I keep the audio track separately so I will have one separate audio track which will run this long so this is how the uh, video length of the PIP was decided that's what I said in the starting so now once you have everything in proper so if I reduce it a bit more okay have a PIP came here so we'll just move it to the end and we'll reduce it a bit more so you get to see how PIP works and then I will say produce and share in SD we'll go and we'll select PIP demo and say final PIP so finish will have a video soon so what we did overall is you know created a PIP video first which have multiple PIPs in it that, that is easy to do I mean though it's the toughest part but it's very easy to do if you can align all the videos properly then later on you merge it with the same uh, video where you wanted the PIP but you have an audio commentary running which is which goes till the PIP ends so what it does is it makes it the whole video looks very seamless you know there's no two different part but it's only one part so that is what you need to think about so now we have the video over here and we'll just run it so now this is the initial part and we'll so now the PIP has come in so this part I will still keep on speaking so my audio length is still going on but the video has changed from this to this now I can hyperlink in if you are using YouTube and all I can hyperlink each of them to the videos which I want them people to go in so it runs parallelly so this is how you do it so that's how you do it thanks for watching and I will suggest now there's another method where you can use the uh, final output and then put PIP on top of each other but I recommend not to do that because you might lose a bit of video quality or the audio quality a bit so create a PIP video separately then add it to the timeline at the end so, and final output will look fabulous and make sure you have audio commentary running till the end of the PIP videos thanks for watching